one very large piling rig erected on the site of the new Premier Inn Blackpool, waiting to start his duties. Quite a sight, towering above all other machinery. We will return tomorrow. Welcome to my video on Friday the 7th of September 2018 about midday. Rain all morning and an awful wind still coming off the Irish Sea. Please excuse all the camera shake. We can now see the piling rig at work. Really hope it is of interest to some of my viewers. It is the first for myself seeing this operation. I must not get technical in case of upsetting viewers and also myself making errors in the narration. Have received wonderful help from the engineers whilst they were on their lunch break. Ah, this is what I wanted to video and show you. The hammer coming down and driving the spiral drill 22 metres down into the ground. That area is then pressurised and concrete is poured in. Hope all viewers are still with me. And I apologise for any errors I have made with the terminology of this operation so far. A very powerful hammer indeed, and 22 metres is a very long way down. However, it is driving this drill very swiftly and easily into the ground. A truly impressive piece of machinery, and I have found it most interesting personally. The hammer just drives on until reaching the 22 metres required in depth. Looks like we are coming to the end of the hammer's journey as I view in the camcorder's screen. Have enjoyed very much this videoing of the piling operation. We'll return again when next part of my series takes place. Nearly there now. Shame the ground cannot be shown, but as you can see, it is shielded by the boarding. Uh, this is what I meant, you can see in front of you the boarding that is shielding the ground. However, I'm going to let the video carry on and I will show you what has been done already this morning. Here we are, here is the whole of the site of the new Premier Inn. In front of you, I'm told, is where the first job was done this morning. And uh, coming up to the left now, that is where the rig has visited already. And to the left, you can see the rig which we have just enjoyed and viewed. I hope you've enjoyed that. We will go to Talbot Road, where I can show you various stages of the tramline project. A viewer would like to see a finished area of track. On our way round, we will see an engineer attending the hammer on the piling rig. I hope you enjoy this about Talbot Road. We have arrived at Talbot Road on the tram line extension. Just remind you of the date, Friday the 7th of September 
2018. As you can see, this area, some of it is awaiting levelling. And as we move up slightly further, you can see this is an area undergoing levelling. Just yards up the road, and we are now outside the little black pug. I'm going to walk you all the length of Talbot Road, so I'd just like you to see where you are. We're in that same area as the first one, and as you can see, some parts has been levelled and others haven't. Just yards further up is an interesting area. Hope it pleases my viewer who wish to see a finished area of track. Track one, track two, which will take you away from the station to the North Pier. Track three, track four, which will take you to the station. And there we see, what should we call that crevice there? We'll call that a shoulder that's all got that's all like that all up Talbot Road that's going to be have to be filled in but that's no trouble just further up from where you have last visited and as you can see more tram lines finished a little bit of activity here this morning virtually halfway up Talbot Road now and can you see that road in front of you that branches off from Talbot Road? That's Abingdon Street. And that will take you to the Winter Gardens. Just want to recap where we are. Yes, like all parts of Talbot Road, there is activity always going on. And this part is no exception, as you can see. Although the tram lines are finished, there's still work going on. Moving on now to the next area of Talbot Road, just have to cross this little junction of Abingdon Street. Just a few yards from the previous scene. A most interesting area, this one. In front you will see the four tram lines and the concrete base to ground level. What's got to happen is that level has to be raised to meet the tram lines. We'll carry on walking you up now and you can enjoy hopefully the view of this work. There's some of the metal cages there. Now coming to the end of this area now. Just going to pan up now. We're at the Victoria now. Next section, as you can see, this area now waiting for a nice layer of concrete so as it can start the work laying the tram lines. Next area sees the original road, as it always has been, untouched by engineers, untouched this part. We have now reached the end of Talbot Road and also the end of my video, which I have enjoyed making. All I can do is to hope that others have enjoyed it as well. There we are. We're at that Wilco store now and Mark Ellis and in front of you, untouched road. No engineer has touched anything on here yet, so you can judge for yourself how this project is going. Thank you for viewing. Bye bye.